Hi, I'm Brother Prater. Welcome to my page. I want to give you some words of encouragement. I want to tell you who may be feeling like giving up, don't give up. I know it seems like it's easier said than done, but God has not forgotten about you. I know it may be difficult, and I ain't going to lie to you. I don't know what all that you may be going through, whatever you may be dealing with, but I promise you, you're not the first and you're not the last. But know that we serve a God that knows every answer to whatever question that we may have or will have. And I know sometimes it feel like you just want to just pull out your hair for not only what you're dealing with, but it even seems like people don't care. People that can help you won't help you. And it seems like, where is your relief? Where is that relief? Where is that where is that answer? Where is that relief coming that's going to solve everything? But just know it's going to come. So I want to tell you, God allowed you to see this video to encourage you, to let you know he hasn't forgot about you. So don't ever have to feel like abandoned, feel abandoned or rejected. Or God is not listening. Or God doesn't care about you. He cares about you. You may not you may not understand his method, but pray to God help you to understand his heart. So understand, no matter what you're dealing with, God is still able to move. God still cares about you. And I want you to understand, even when you feel like giving up, when you feel like, you know, throwing in the towel, all these things, we're here to let you know, don't do it. And I will tell you, for those who may feel like, oh, well, you know, they must not be saved. Look here, when you go through something hard enough, even as a Christian, you be surprised at thoughts that you may deal with. You may be, you may be surprised of what those conversations that the devil may try to give you. Look, understand, the devil will give anybody and everybody suggestions. So just because the devil tried to give people suggestions doesn't mean that they ain't saved. The devil would talk to anybody. Remember this, Satan tempted Jesus, but Jesus did not succumb to that temptation. So we need to stop, you know, um, because somebody may be feeling a certain way or maybe even sure their heart with you pertaining to their thoughts or whatever. Don't put them down. We can't put them down. We need to build them up. So I want to encourage you. Just in case you feel depressed or whatever, which depression simply means a pressing on your spirit. Understand, we speaking to God, lift that burden. Raise up your spirit. Help you and encourage you and also center you around people that's going to minister to you and show you love. But also, I want to tell you, everything that you're dealing with, write it down. Write it down. And as you're writing it down, look at what God's word said about that situation. And you go to that mirror and you tell that person that's in your mirror what God said. So I want to encourage you. You're not holding on for nothing. You're holding on for something. Understand, God has so much for you. So don't give in. Don't throw in the towel. Understand, use that towel to wipe your sweat or wipe your tears. And understand, God is concerned and he is counting every tear that you shed. He is concerned about you. He is concerned about the things that you're concerned about. I'm seeing someone right now. I'm seeing the young lady right now. She's worried about it. She worried about her son. Whatever's going on with her son, whatever's going on with your children, understand, put them in the hands of God. And you tell God that it's his responsibility to work it out because you can't fix it. You tried many times. You tried for years. And guess what? Even in your even in your attempts, you still fail. But we serve a God that would never fail. And I'm also speaking to that young lady who's dealing with that uh, health issues, your health issues. We're going to be praying for God to not only bring physical healing, but also he give you the strategy. He gives you the recommendations of what to do to get your physical healing because your spiritual healing is already implemented. I want to encourage a young man who is dealing with some legal battles. Dealing with that young, that young man who feel like that he can't see a child because 
of a baby mother, what about that? Look here. God is concerned about that too. We're going to be lifting up all of you all. So I just want you to know that God is concerned about every one of our situations. He's concerned about our needs, our wants, and our desires. So as we get ready to pray, we're going to give everything to God right now and let him deal with it because it's too much for us. Dear Heavenly Father, we're coming to you right now. Thank you, Lord, for your awesomeness. We're coming to you right now, God. We acknowledge your presence on today. We're coming to you right now, God. Thank you, Lord, for being an awesome God, being a faithful God, being a committable God. So, God, we speak it right now, God. You see every need, every situation right now that we are facing. We speak it right now, God. We give it up right now, God. We're not giving up on life, but we're giving up what we're dealing with right now and giving it up to you right now in the name of Jesus. God, you said in your word, God, you told us, God, to cast all of our cares upon you, God, because you care for us. So, God, we thank you, all for caring for us enough, God, to tell us, God, to give you our problem right now in the name of Jesus. God, as we give you our problems, God, you will give us the solution right now and you will give us the assurance right now in the name of Jesus and we receive it right now in the name of Jesus and we bind everything the devil stand for. We cancel the devil's assignment right now in the name of Jesus and Lord, we thank you Lord for the physical healing. We thank you Lord for the emotional healing. We thank you Lord for the financial healing. We thank you Lord for making us not just heal but whole, lacking nothing in every area of our lives right now in the name of Jesus and we thank you for it right now, right now, right now, right now. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you right now, God. We thank you right now, God. We thank you, Lord, for working everything out right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the testimony that we have right now, the assurance that we have right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, your will is done on earth because it's already done in heaven right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for it right now, God. We receive it right now, God. Lord, not our will, but Lord, your will be done right now in every area of our lives right now, God. We give you permission to come in, God, and show yourself strong on the behalf of us right now. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord, for not failing us right now, God. God, even when we fail you, God, you didn't give up on us, God. So, God, we thank you right now, God. We thank you right now, God. Oh, Lord, 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 we thank you right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for having our best interest at heart, and we thank you, Lord, for helping us right now, God, to hold on, God. Even when we we wanted to give up, God. Even when others gave up on us, God, you did not give up on us. And God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. And we give you the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. We say amen, amen, amen. I thank you for watching this video and I pray that it ministers to you. Be blessed.